Next news. In Canada, um, Iranian-Canadian ex-Muslim fired after condemning honor killings. A man, who will remain anonymous, will was let go from his position at a top Vancouver prep school after sharing a, co a condemnation of Iranian honor killings on his personal Facebook page. In his post, which shared an article from Iran Human Rights Monitor, we've shared a lot of their work before, um, he also had harsh words for radical Islam, which sanctions the killing of young women by their male family members. In response to these killings, he wrote, quote, F Islam, F honor killing, and F you too if you believe any of these barbaric Stone Age ideologies, end quote. He was raised a Muslim in Iran and is now an atheist. The Facebook post was quickly reported to the school's headmaster. The headmaster told him, quote, your anti-Islamist social media, Islamic, your anti-Islamic social media post is in direct contradiction with the Mulgrave school where he was employed and Canadian values. It is racist and highly offensive. As, an, as a result, I'm immediately terminating any further relationship with you, end quote. Okay, first of all, why are you saying F Islam and F honor killing? Did we just, this is something we should just say it like fuck Islam. I okay, mean, this guy's, well, I wasn't, I, are we trying to appease the YouTube gods or not? not? When it comes to fuck Islam, I mean, since this guy lost his job, like fuck the YouTube gods as well. I know we don't blaspheme against the YouTube gods that often, but in this case, we should make an exception, give it to normalize what this guy was fired for. Okay, uh, I would like to give it full-throatedly then. Fuck Islam, fuck honor killings, and fuck you too, especially if you believe that these barbaric Stone Age ideologies, if you believe in them, or that they should be defended. Fuck you. How's that? That was, that was perfect, right? That was awesome. That was good. Mm, that real good spice. <laughs> I agree. Fuck, fuck those people who uh, defend it and do it. Ship but him. also, this led me. Oh yeah, ship him. But let's ship him on record. Fuck. Regressive leftist. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but don't don't literally fuck them. We don't want more babies from them. But fuck. No, you can't fuck them if they give you consent. But go on. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. I mean, I was just saying. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. But yeah, fuck them. Just okay, fuck, fuck regressive leftists. I'm so fucking annoyed. Like everywhere, all around the world. Fuck them all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're coming oh! out. It's Independence Day, goddamn. <laughs> okay, so here I, I just want to thank um, Yasmin Mohammed for sending me this. Uh, I wouldn't have noticed this if she didn't send it to me. So really grateful to her for bringing more attention to this. And I, this is the news item that I recommended that was post that was included here. And I wouldn't have seen this. This is insane that is ha this is happening in Canada. Right? Yeah, well, this led me to the important question. Armin, are you secretly working at a prep school in Canada? Because <laughs> this sounds like an ex Muslim atheist from Iran who's blasting honor killings in Canada. Is this Armin? Is <laughs> All right, come yeah, on. That, that's wait. the first thing I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I mean, have something to say about this, though. About, so to, um, so he was fired because they said his anti-Islam comments. So first of all, and it was racist. Islam isn't a race, so it's not racist. And then the other thing is, these people who fired him are defending the faith instead of the victims of the faith. And that's reprehensible in my opinion. And somehow they feel like doing that is the correct the woke thing to do whatever the you know righteous position instead of looking at what this ideology is helping to create in terms of how people think this is acceptable or they allow it in the society or they fire people for it's really really heinous and so it kind of piggybacks on Chopin's point of the, you know, the regressive left, because this, that kind of position is very much so that regressive, you know, so the oppression stacking too. So being Muslim is the religion is up here 
but all the actual harm that's happening, the real oppression isn't even coming up on their, you know, chart at all. The real yeah. sin is speaking badly about an ideology. Right. Back I, couldn't, the real I couldn't have said it better myself. And I saw this case being talked about on Twitter before this full article was written up about it and before the post millennial actually spoke to this man. And he was saying on Twitter or someone who was speaking on his behalf that he was fired within 10 minutes of sharing this, which is crazy. How bad, I mean, like who snitched? What's wrong with you within 10 minutes of speaking out against women being murdered by their family members for not living under an oppressive chain of an ideology and you're going to have someone fired from speaking out against something that happens in the, his own country that he lives in, who affects his own community? Are you insane? Can I also just point out uh, for people who don't know this uh, this guy uh, this Iranian Canadian uh, ex Muslim person that decided to post this this was in response to Iran going through um, one of its worst months in honor killing we had three women being um, that killed that we know of in one month and this this caused a lot of like people. Um, shedding on Islam within Iran itself, right? So uh, the the hatred towards Islam is growing among Iranians, and the, these honor killings are accelerating that process, right? Um, yeah. So I just wanted to point that out. By the way, the, when it comes to the relationship between Islam and honor killing. We, I don't want to keep repeating myself because we already discussed this many times. I'm going to discuss it again many other times on our show, but I don't want to keep repeating the same, you know, every, on every time honor killing is brought up, right? But anyways, should we go to the next news? Well, Shubham, do you have anything to add? Oh, Shubham. I, mean, I, I was like about to say, but, it, but it's the culture, like killing women, innocent women, is the culture. We should be respectful of them killing women. Like, yeah, and if you, you think that, I would like to yeah, tell you an exchange for <laughs> Guys, don't speak at the same time because none of your idea gets out when you speak at the same time. But go on, sorry. I mean, do you want to culturally appropriate them or anything like that shit? Like, <laughs> be respectful. They just want to kill women. <laughs> It's just their culture, right and I'm, I'm not Western. a bigot if I think that that's just cultural. What are you talking about? Women's rights are a Western concept. Human rights yeah. are a Western concept. That's all. I mean, it's really reprehensible, and I also think it goes back to this, which we've talked about before. A lot of people have said this before. This idea of Islamophobia being these de facto blasphemy laws so that what they're trying to do is shame people because they know they can't prosecute them for blasphemy in the United States or in Canada, but they can call them a racist, right? So they're trying to shame people into not talking about Islam. Right. Just to be I clear. I mean, is that, okay, okay. Uh, isn't it uh, kind of... You can uh, can't you call them racist like this because if they think uh, inserting Islam is racist, so they are just technically yes. associating brown people with racist. So any white Muslim can come and say, "Hey, so you think white people can't be Muslims? You are being racist against me. I cannot join Islam or something." Yeah, for for people who have been living under a rock, this is called also bigotry of lower expectations when you think that. Um, human rights, it, you know, people from, you know, United States or Western European country, their culture is to have human rights and women rights and, and, uh, and other forms of rights. But other countries, it's just a different standards for them, uh, inferior standards for them. That is called, big, you guys who believe that, you guys are the actual bigots. And that's called the, bigot, the bigotry of lower expectations. Right. Uh, looked it up. Before um, we move on, I want to give this quick quote by Michael Sherlock. <laughs> Fuck bitches, Islam. Don't criticize Islam, wokists. <laughs> That's just about right. 
Uh, All right, okay. news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 